Hello everyone, welcome back to Tuquesa Dot. This is Evie, or welcome into Tuquesa Dot if you are joining my channel for the first time today with this amazing love summer art movement that we're starting here on YouTube and I've decided to join and participate. So what I'm going to be working on today is this background that I already created in my vacation. I was, I was in Vermont for a couple of weeks and I wanted to get rid of some products that I had opened and worked with there. So I started with some mold, extra molding paste that I had. I worked with the gesso and some glue paint. Those were bottles that were already open and I didn't want to bring them home. So <clears throat> that's um, what I worked on on this page. I created a little mountainscape with those products and I knew I was going to go back to them when I got home and I had all of my other acrylics available. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to go into this page and turn it into a lush summery um, mountainscape. So what I'm going to do first is with this little colored pencil, I'm going to define the areas because it's very abstract right now. So I'm going to try to define. So I'm just playing around with the textures that I have here. I'm going to turn these into green mountains. So let's see how this turns out. Okay. So join me in my little exploration here on my journal. So I'm going to define these areas with some green just so that I have a little plan of where they're going to be split. And I'm also trying a new camera setup and a new camera. So bear with me because this is the first time that I use it. This is also the first time that um, I'm filming a process video in this new camera. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit it. You might have to go through the whole thing or not. Let's see what turns out. But that's what art is all about. Playing around and experimenting and seeing what you can find as you play around with your different materials and surfaces. So I'm kind of thinking that I want this to be water because it kind of have that, it has that little shape. So I think I'm going to turn that into a little valley but with a little lake inside. And then this might be flat ground. And then I'm going to have this other mountain going up here. I'm kind of going by the separation that I've created with my modeling pieces as I was applying it with a palette knife. So that's sort of like my initial plan. This is not going to be too thought out. I'm just going to play around and apply paint without thinking too much about it and just having fun with my page. So let's get to it. So I have some paints already in my little palette here and they're all, they all go together. So it doesn't matter if they mix in. I'm going to combine the darker two colors here just like a dark teal blue with a lighter green. And I'm actually just going to mix them up and see what comes out. I'm not using super realistic colors. This is not a realistic scene. It was just me playing with the materials. So I might even add some weight into that. And this type of texture was inspired by a visit that I, well, we went as a family, we went to see an, an art exhibit at the Clark Museum in Williamstown, Massachusetts. And that's where my sister, one of my sisters lives there. And she had spoken about that. And I really wanted to see it because I love Van Gogh. And she said it was a very interesting um, way they had curated the exhibit, and it was, it was, it was fantastic. They had many paintings that I had never seen before, and um, to get to see all of his texture in person, look at all those canvases, I could stare at those canvases for hours. So, and I, I, I didn't do it for hours because we had a lot of little kids with us that day, because the whole family was there. But it was a wonderful experience to be able to be there and see it. They had um, gathered paintings from all over. And it was a fantastic, fantastic exhibit. 
So, yeah. So I'm keeping this one a little bit bluer. I'm playing with different tones of green than this one's bluish because it's farther away in the background. And I'm applying this with a, I'm actually using a stencil brush just because I want it to be rough. I don't, I don't want um, thin, light brush strokes. I want it to be rough to add even more to that um, texture that I already have with my modeling paste and all the gesso. So I'll have all of the information for the Love Summer Art on my description box below. I hope you're watching the videos today. It should be a very interesting day and fun to watch all of these wonderful artists sharing their videos and joining together to create some awareness about our passion here on YouTube and share with all of you what we love to do. Hopefully lots of you join and if not lots of you are enjoying what we've created for today and to me let's see to me summer is freedom to play i get to spend more time in my studio because i'm actually on vacation from work because i'm a teacher and we start vacation in like summer vacation in june so I actually, actually only have two more weeks of summer freedom to play, but it's still summer and I still get to enjoy my studio time. And that's just so refreshing to me. I just, I recharge during the summer. And then I go back to school ready to apply all of what I've um, learned during the summer, playing around with different materials and techniques. I actually teach art to elementary students. So it's during the summer that I like research and recharge and um, plan out what I wanna do next year during the school year and I go back and I'm refreshed and ready to have them all learn new techniques and um, new projects to work with. But most of all, I'm just recharged, you know, to give them the best of me as I return rested and ready for a new year <laughs> although I could spend all day every day playing around in my studio that would be no trouble for me because mm -hmm. this is my real passion I love I mean I love teaching it because to see how you inspire little kids to explore with their creativity and their art and to feel the freedom to play with new materials and mediums and projects without being afraid of having to be perfect is super rewarding. But you know, we also need to, we also need to do it ourselves so that we can release all of those creative juices that are flowing through our minds permanently, at least. That's how I feel. So that's why I enjoy this time.
And as I'm building up my little mountainscape here, I'm just applying paint from different colors that I have here in my palette because we know the colors are in nature are not flat and we have all those different tones especially in our landscapes we have all those tones of greens and yellows and the way the, high, the light hits the grass in different areas and their shadows so I don't want my colors to be flat I want there to be a play on colors within my surface so that your eye has inter interesting little spots to look at as it moves around. and textures and colors and to have the freedom to let it just happen you know just play and let it happen I love that I already have all of this texture to play with and I don't have to build that so I'm just building color And I haven't even had to change brushes. I'm just playing around with this. It's kind of fun. one of the fun parts about doing things in your art journal I use it to explore with materials and techniques and play around and not feel the stress of a final formal canvas and piece I get to experiment and explore and then if I like the techniques that I come up with as I'm playing then later on, if I want to, I can apply them to a canvas or some other type of medium. But here I just get to play and explore and have fun with it, you know? Again, I'm just playing with those greens and mowing them around, just making sure that I have color variation and interest in different spots, but too serious or formal about it. 
And then I'm going to change my brush to a lighter, go to a smaller one, and play with my blue here. Just play with the little blue color that I have here. To add something to this water. I'm gonna keep that kind of light because I sort of like the gesso and medium and the and modeling paste and how they show through. I like how that looks. So and I have some blue from the background in there too, so I think I'm going to just take it to the mountain and let it disappear instead of to find that. And since I already have all that texture, I'm just moving the paint around. like that. Okay, so those are my different tones of green. And what I played with here. Now I'm gonna go with some yellow and I'm gonna play with my sun up here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. You see that there? So that's my little sun. I'm going to go get some orange. And I'm, I'm just using basic craft paint. I'm not using anything fancy. The only um, better quality paint that I used was the Liquidex in white just because I wanted to add some body to my to my color, to my paint because uh, the craft paints are way more liquid. So to be able to add color I mean, wait to the, the consistency, rather. 
I'm using that white. But other than that, all of the rest are apple barrel. I think all of them are apple barrel. Yeah, all of these. And I've had them for a while. Yeah, sort of like that. Let me see if I can get it rounder. Just because I don't want my son to be all wonky. I want it to be playful and to have texture, but I don't want it all wonky and out of shape. Yeah, and I think Facebook is going crazy with everyone getting ready to upload all of these fabulous projects that we want to share with you in these next few days. But yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm not going to go into the sky or anything. I'm going to leave everything to dry. But I, I actually like how it looks right now. Kind of like unfinished, but let me lift it up a little bit and see if I can show you. So that's my sun, and that's the sky with all of the blues of application of color and gesso and marine paste, and even some of the paper showing through. And then as you go down, you see all of the colors that I applied to the different textures. And I hope this light does it justice. It looks so yummy. I hope you liked what I had to share with you today and hope you join me again for the next few projects that I'll be working on. Thank you so much for your visits. Hugs and kisses, besitos. Thanks for stopping by and giving me some of your time and I hope you liked what I created today. So take care everyone and welcome to all of the new subbies.